all my life I had to fight like Sophia Right my wrongs in this world that's full of evil Most of the faces looking at me are real deceitful I don't believe Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Geminis. Thank you guys for showing out. Um, Y'all just don't know how amazing I feel because Geminis, uh, the Gemini sign is actually my love sign. That's what I love. And if you are a Sagittarius, you don't love within Sagittarius, you love within Gemini because you guys are across from us on the axis of the astrology chart, right? So, you guys may need to check out Sagittarius chart because that's y'all basic flow. That's y'all, that's how y'all love in Sagittarius and Sagittarius love in Gemini. So, um, I was real shocked that you guys turned out the way that y'all did. And I thank y'all for that. So, this is you guys' bonus reading, okay? So, we're going to basically see what's going to go on with the person that you was dishing the same energy out to. So we can list this as bonus reading, okay? So we're gonna list this as y'all, you guys bonus, okay? And see what the topic is from there. Okay, so first off, I see we have the sun coming out. I see we have temperance here. So someone, this is Sagittarius energy, could be dealing with a Sagittarius, okay? But remember, like I said, you love in Sagittarius. We have judgment here, uh-huh, mm-hmm. Oh, so I already see where this is going at. You guys going to love this. So it's ending good. We got the King of Swords here. So somebody is all about the money, all about the moolah. Okay, give me the money. Show me the money. Capricorn energy. <laughs> okay, we have the Page of Wands. Someone that's real useful. They could have a kid coming in as well. Eight of Swords. Somebody feel trapped. Okay. We're going to break it down, though. We're going to break it down. Here, give me two more. Here, clarify the judgment. Clarify. Okay, that's too many. There's two more, Spirit. There's two more. That's all we need is two more. Okay, that was too many. Two more. Two more. Two more. Two more. Okay, yeah. I don't know. Your person is, is um, stubborn. They stubborn, got a hard head. They don't like to talk too much with this energy. The way that the cars are flowing right now, it's real hard to get them out. So your person is real stubborn, okay? And they pretend like they don't care here with this King of Swords. Clarify this King of Swords. Clarify, they may be acting like they more focused on something else than you. Look at it, yep. The Five of Cups, and we have Strength card at the bottom of the deck. So Spirit is definitely telling you to have strength with this person. Um, Remain humble, you guys. Don't go snapping off, hitting the person, or you know what I'm saying. Y'all get the drift here. I uh, feel some tension and spirit is telling you to keep yourself level-headed here with this person because this person really don't know any better, okay? So with the sun of the sun and the page of wands coming in congruent with this, I do see that your person want a new beginning with you. Um they want a fresh start, they want happiness, they want joy. They may even offer kids on the table. If you guys don't have kids, be prepared for this person asking you this. They are willing to explore things with you. See, this person may think rationally they don't think how you think so there's a difference between you two especially with them coming out as the king of king of swords here this person thinks more rational they don't think with love so you have to be more patient with this person you may be on the on the glow go with the flow type of mode and this person is like no this is how this goes this is like somebody that likes to take control or, or like to say a lot of things that they can't um amount to here so it could be a lot of broken promises as well with this person this person is like i said they more of a rational thinker so you could be spiritual and your person is worldly but i do see that they find pleasure in worldly things versus you so with the temperance card here this is sagittarius in it this is like them wanting a family with you they want a family setting they want things to balance out within their life they ready to advance okay they ready to advance but something got this person feeling trapped or you may be feeling trapped within this connection so if you are dealing with a third party i do see that they are feeling trapped with that connection and we're going to get into the third party because i already said i was gonna bring the third party cards out anyway so this is definitely i feel like that's giving me some third party energy so some of you guys could be dealing with someone that has someone and you either feeling like a third wheel or you feel tied to this person you could already be married to this person or have a family with this person or you know like kids with this person here so judgment here, I do see that there's something that's, that's going to be made clear. I do see a judgment is going to be called 
And I do see with the four of swords that you're going to decide to just say, look, whatever it is, whatever is going, I'm just going with the flow. I'm not pressed for this connection. If it happened, it happened. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Okay, so it's like you go from feeling trapped to feeling like, you know what? It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. And I see your person over here is in some regret. Um, there's some remorse this connection could have ended okay with this person or you could like i said before yeah you was dishing out the same energy so you possibly could have left this person if you haven't you checked out emotionally wise with this person mm -hmm. okay we're going to clarify it with this other deck here clarify the energy okay spirit let us know what else do we need to know okay we have the ace of pentacles we have something is being given to you so this person is coming in with an offer we have the Six of Pentacles coming out. So this person was breadcrumbing you. I really feel like there is someone else. Or it could have been something else that this person just had this this person intention more. This could be work or a third party. This is what I'm feeling. So some of you guys, it could be this person work a lot. And for some of you guys, it could be a third party situation. With the Fool card here, I do see that you, you want to take a risk. You want to take a risk there. You want to take a risk it's like you you want to give this person a chance but it's like i don't know i could stay single and things just could be how they is it's like you don't it's like i really feel like somebody is saying you know what i would take them back if they would show me something or give me a reason why but until then or you could be telling this person to come in with the truth, with the four swords. And until then, you're going to remain single or remain in the same energy here because you're getting tired of playing the fool. You're getting tired of risking everything for this person or taking chances on this person. Look at this. With the seven of swords, your person is real sneaky. They real sneaky, okay? They real sneaky. They, they are wearing a mask. They don't tell you exactly what they have going on. They have a lot of things in the shadows that you don't know about. With the Ten of Cups here, I really feel like that's their feelings, okay? They're, it's like they're afraid of showing their feelings. They're not communicating with you for one. You look like you're getting less communication from this person. With the Ten of Cups, it's like you ready for a wish fulfillment. You want a stable connection here. And with the Chariot, I see you guys overcoming this energy. So like I'm saying, if you feel trapped, if you feel like this person is breadcrumbing you, there's no balance within this connection, I do see that y'all will overcome these obstacles if you do want this person back or if you want to take this person back okay um with the lover's card here that's you guys that's gemini energy i do see that with the lover's card you are a lover you know this okay so i do see that you have love for this person you still want to be with this person low-key you still want to be with them you don't you ain't letting them know this though because you acting nonchalant okay so you're not letting them know this but you do okay and with the justice card here i do see that this person is going to have to reveal what they've been hiding or they're going to have to open up to you with the justice card they're going to come in with some type of balance okay because yeah they're gonna come in with some balance that's the whole thing other thing is them coming in with some balance and with the knight of wands here i do see that they're going to come forth towards you with some action okay this is like taking action this is like fighting for the connection so if you've been thinking empress k is this person gonna fight for this connection or uh, will they let me go yes because look right now they exploring they was exploring before but look at this they're coming out as the king of wands so they're gonna they're gonna change their energy up and i told you look at it i can't make this up they fighting for this connection before they was on a standstill they wasn't telling you their true feelings. They was hiding some things from you. They even was being toxic, okay? So this, I could go on and on about this. I could go on and on about this person that you're dealing with. They definitely a piece of work. And we're going to see if you guys are in a third-party situation. Um, I'm going to pull out those cards in a few. I'm going to get clarification for the ones that are not in a third-party situation. So we're going to see what's holding this person back. We're going to get the deep confessions with my deep confession deck. It can be purchased on Etsy if you guys would love this deck. Mm -hmm. So let's get into it. Let's see. Let's see how they truly feel. Let's see how they truly feel there. Okay, so look at it. They can't see you being with no one else. So that's why they coming in. They can't see you being with nobody else. They don't want nobody else to have you. So they, I told you they're going to put action towards you because they're telling me 
they they're gonna be I don't think I said they telling me they energy telling me this though so that's correct but they telling you they're gonna be coming in like what you want me to do what you need me to do to make things right how can I fix this what what do we have to can we start over um they could be even offering count to go to counsel it's like they're gonna put some action towards what they saying with legal issues here this person could be facing some legal matters okay some, some some light legal issues is coming um afloat for your person and i do see that they torn between the two so it is someone else in the energy here for some of you guys this person could have definitely put you in a third party situation but it's like we both are broken so it's like this person know y'all both have been through some things in love and in life in general and it's like they just want to be free so it's like maybe this person if y'all in a third party situation this person feel trapped with that third party it's like I feel them feeling like they're trapped with that third party and their heart is in pieces right now. So it's like something is gonna wake this person up and I really feel like it's the legal the legal matter that they're gonna take take on is something gonna happen legally. Mm hmm Okay, and I do see that they thought of you today. So they have been thinking about you. You have been on this person's mind. For some of you guys, you may not be talking to this person. Some of you guys may have put this person on block. Or some of you guys are just talking nonchalant to this person. But I do see that there's no connection to where it was as strong it was before. I do see that you are, you guys are slowly detaching for this person. That's what I sense in here. But this person is saying they're coming back for what's mine. So it's like they feel, they feel jealous and possessive over you. They feel like you really their property. Mm -hmm. And look at that. I'm going through a lot. I told you it's something over there that this person... It's like it's a lot that's going on in this person's energy here. And they just feeling trapped. They feeling real trapped. They don't know what to do. I do see that they selfish. They want you all to themselves. So I told you that they can't see you being... Uh-uh. Uh-uh. They don't want you to be with nobody else. Oh, OMG. Um, you could have a stalker here. They've been passing by your house. So if this person knows where you stay, they've been passing by. And I do see that they feel like you don't love them the same no more. That's why they passing by your house. And a third party knows about you. So the third party may have some, some idea about they messing with somebody else. For some, they could know exactly who you are. And we're going to break it down, okay? So this is my new deck, okay? This is Entanglements, um, third party edition. So... This deck can also be purchased on Etsy, so you guys go check that out too. But I basically had to get it all out for you guys, because Gemini's, y'all definitely went all out for me. And I really do appreciate you guys for that. So, you know, I'm going to show you guys some love. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you guys some love. So, let's see what's going on here. Okay, so your person is saying they are in an open relationship. We do whatever we want. So for some of you guys, this person is in an open relationship. They, them and a person are cheating. Okay, so it's an open connection there. Mm -hmm. But look at it. They saying again that they don't want to share you. So it's like they don't want you to go nowhere. It's And it's, they making that pretty clear. So you guys, if you try to leave this person, it's going to be some craziness going on. If you haven't left that person, get prepared for the craziness to happen, okay? So the third part is asking them, why are you acting so differently? Why are you not doing this? You used to do this, this, and that. So they noticing the energy is changing because they wondering about how you feel about them. So it's like they're getting frustrated because when they dare, they don't know what you're doing. It's like, is she with somebody else? It's just like they're getting frustrated over there. They real easy ticked off over there, okay? So I do see the third party. I like when he brings women home. So the third party could be into women, okay? And but he don't want to share you with her. That's one thing is what I'm seeing. It's like they may have done that before, but it's like he don't want to do that with you. He don't want to share you with her. That's why he keeps saying I don't want to share you. That's why they keep coming out for some of you guys, okay? So it says third party, baby, you can have my problem. So I do see that they are ready to get rid of your person, but they just don't know how, okay? So this person is ready to walk off. Uh-huh. Look at that. I told you they both cheating. Say third party, boy, please be both cheating. I said that they was both cheating in this open relationship. So they both are doing a thing. Okay, so he got you on a slick and he not telling her and she may be want she may be wanting you to in introduce like she know that there's somebody else there and she's feeling it. So because I really feel like you're not into this, that's why he don't want to bring you meet this woman. He not telling you this. So for some of you guys, you couldn't even, you you may not even know that they have an open relationship with this person. Um, it says your person is us against the world, baby. 
So your person feel like it's it's only y'all. Okay, even though they in a connection with this third party or they got this third party situation going on, they feeling like it's just only y'all. Mm-hmm. And look at that third party. I'm not happy. I want out. I'm miserable. I told y'all that person is ready to go. They may even be more into women than men. That's the problem. And I do see your person, the third party is only around because I'm afraid to be alone. So this person is codependent. They only using this person because they afraid of what's to come if they was to leave this person. So they can't see themselves outside of this relationship. They are afraid. Okay. They they not used to being in alone. This is someone that dives in not a connection here. Yeah, this is definitely somebody that dives in not a connection. And it says your person, nobody will ever understand me the way you do. So it's like you understand this person, you get them, you open their eyes to a whole lot. You guys may be twin flames or could be the same zodiac sign here. And look at it. All the third party wants is money. So all she's after the money. This person, he or she may be a good provider and that's what they like about this person. That's the only thing they like because that's the only thing I'm picking up. This is some crazy energy, okay? They over there doing this for an image is what I feel, okay? So it's a third party. I will be a problem. I refuse to let him go easily. So even though she want this person 